Hi kids! This is Teacher May, your teacher for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest videos. Addition and subtraction of a mixed number and a proper fraction that are similar. Listen carefully to the story. In a faraway land, there lived a beautiful and intelligent lady named Cinderella X. She loved doing puzzles and math problems since she was young. While growing up, she hid this exceptional ability from her stepmother and stepsisters. One day, a man from the palace came to bring an invitation to the Grand Fraction Ball, organized by the Crown Prince Decimalus, also known for being a math wizard, for Cinderella X to participate in the ball. Her fairy godmother transformed her into a beautiful lady, hence, during the ball, she made a grand entrance. While walking in the hallway, she encountered a fraction word problem on the wall. If 3 and 1 fourth yards and 2 fourths yards of cloths are used to make a cape, how many yards are needed to make a cape? With confidence, Cinderella X answered the problem with ease. Decimalus saw her and was impressed. She walked again and saw the second word problem. If you owned 9 and 7 eighths hectares of land and decided to donate 6 eighths hectares, how many hectares were left? Again, she solved the problem quickly. As she continued to solve word problems, Decimalus could not help but fall in love with her. However, Cinderella X had to leave before midnight, so she dashed and left her glass shoe. The next day, Decimalus used his math skills to find the perfect glass shoe fit. The shoe fit perfectly with Cinderella X's foot and they live happily ever after while solving fraction word problems together. The end. Now, let us answer the following questions. From the story, if 3 and 1 fourth yards and 2 fourths yards of plots are used to make a cape, how many yards are needed to make a cape? Example number 1, 3 and 1 fourth plus 2 fourths. Solution To add mixed numbers and proper fractions, first copy the whole number 3. Then, add the numerator 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then, copy the denominator 4. The answer is 3 and 3 fourths. So, 3 and 3 fourths yards of cloth are needed to make a cape. Second problem, if you owned 9 and 7 eighths hectares of land and decided to donate 6 eighths hectares, how many hectares were left? Example number 2, 9 and 7 eighths minus 6 eighths. To subtract mixed numbers and proper fractions, first copy the whole number 9, then subtract 6 from 7. 7 minus 6 is 1, then copy the denominator 8. The answer is 9 and 1, 8. Based on these examples, how do you add or subtract a mixed number and a proper fraction with the same denominator? 
without regrouping. First, copy the whole number, then add or subtract the numerators of both fractions, and then copy the common denominator. These examples involve regrouping. Example number 3, 2 and 1 seventh plus 6 sevenths. Solution. First, copy the whole number 2. Then add 1 and 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. Then copy the denominator 7. The answer is 2 and 7 sevenths or 3. Since 7 sevenths is equal to 1 whole, therefore 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Example number 4, 2 and 5 6 plus 2 6. 2 and 5 6 plus 2 6. First, copy the whole number 2. Then add 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Then copy the denominator 6. 2 and 7 6 is equal to 2 and 6 6 plus 1 6 is equal to 3 and 1 6. Method number 1. Using the mixed number form, 2 and 5, 6 plus 2, 6 is equal to 2 and 7, 6. Since 7, 6 can be changed into 1 and 1, 6, therefore, 2 plus 1 and 1, 6 is equal to 3 and 1, 6. Method number 2. Changing mixed number into improper fraction. Change 2 and 5, 6 into improper fraction. 6 times 2 plus 5 is equal to 17. Then copy the denominator 6. Then add 2, 6. 17 plus 2 is equal to 19. Copy the denominator 6. The answer is 19, 6 or 3 and 1, 6. To change mix number 19 divide 19 to 6 19 divided by 6 is equal to 3 3 times 6 is 18 19 minus 18 is equal to 1 so the answer is 3 and 1 6 3 is the whole number 1 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator For method 2, to add a mixed number and a proper fraction with regrouping, first, convert the given mixed number into an improper fraction. Next, add the numerators, then copy the common denominator. Example number 5, 5 and 1 third minus 2 thirds. Look at the number line. The black arrow is... 5 and 1 third. Then remove 2 thirds, which is the red arrow. The answer is 4 and 2 thirds. Method number 1 using the mixed number form. Since 2 thirds cannot be subtracted right away from 1 third, 5 must be changed into 4 and 3 thirds. Hence, 5 and 1 third is equal to 4 and 3 thirds plus 1 third. To solve this fraction, first copy the whole number 4, then add the numerator 3 and 1. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, then copy the denominator 3. The answer is 4 and 4 thirds. 5 and 1 third minus 2 thirds is equal to 4 and 4 thirds minus 2 thirds. First, copy the whole number 4. Then, subtract 2 from 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Then, copy the denominator 3. The answer is 4 and 2 thirds. Method number 2. Changing mixed number into improper fraction. 5 and 1 thirds minus 2 thirds. First, change mixed number into improper fraction. 
5 times 3 plus 1 is equal to 16. Then copy the denominator 3. Subtract 2 from 16. 16 minus 2 is 14. Then copy the denominator 3. 14 thirds or 4 and 2 thirds is the answer. How do you subtract a proper fraction from a mixed number with regrouping? First, convert the given mixed number into either an improper fraction or a mixed number whose fractional part is an improper fraction. Next, subtract the numerators. Then, copy the common denominator. Answer this activity. Perform the indicated operation. Show the necessary solutions. Addition and subtraction of a whole number and a proper fraction. Let's think back to what we learned yesterday. Remember, when we talked about adding and subtracting fractions, can anyone tell me what are the different ways we can add and subtract fractions? Think about the steps we used. What are some of the methods we learned? Example number 1, 1 plus 5 eighths. 1 whole plus 5 eighths is equal to 1 and 5 eighths. Example number 2, 3 minus 5 sevenths. First, change 3 into mixed number 2 and 7 sevenths. Then, subtract 5 sevenths. First, copy the whole number 2. Then, subtract 5 from 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then, copy the denominator 7. The answer is 2 and 2 sevenths. Example number 3, 3 plus 3 sevenths. Solution, 3 plus 3 sevenths. Just copy 3, then add 3 sevenths. The answer is 3 and 3 sevenths. Example number 4, 3 minus 3 sevenths. Solution, change 3 to mixed numbers, 2 and 7 sevenths, then subtract 3 sevenths. Copy the whole number 2, then subtract 7 minus 3 is equal to 4, then copy the denominator 7. The answer is 2 and 4 sevenths. Let's have an activity. To answer this activity, we will have a math.tag quiz B. Addition and subtraction of a whole number and a mixed number. Today, we're going to explore fractions in a fun and visual way. Step 1. Picture it. Choose one of the following to represent the fraction 3 and 1 fourth. We have discs, strips, and number line. Discs. Draw three whole discs and one quarter of a disc. Strips, draw three whole strips 
and one quarter of a strip. Number line, mark a number line from 0 to 4, divide each whole number into fourths, and mark 3 and 1 fourth. Step 2, Adding Holes Now, let's add two whole discs or strips to your picture of 3 and 1 fourth. How many whole discs or strips do you have now? Step 3, The Big Picture Draw a new diagram that represents all the pieces used in steps 1 and 2. What fraction does this new diagram represent? Look at the table. I will guide you in getting the correct answers from the given illustrations. Each correct answer will be placed in a table showing methods 1 and 2. For this activity, you will play a fraction relay. 